teacher Ron Poplow had taught high school for nearly 50 years, but as a result of debilitating knee pain, Ron found that he was no longer able to stand and teach class. The hardest part of all of this was to lay on that bed and look at that clock and say, if I was at school, here's what I would be doing. And so it was an incredible uh, impetus to get me back to do the rehab. Following a recommendation from a colleague, Ron went to see orthopedic surgeon Dr. Robert Sharp in Shawnee Mission, Kansas. To quote him exactly, he said, I have seldom seen a worse knee. And part of that was, or maybe all of it really was, my procrastination. I waited. Typically before their knee replacement surgery, they have pain with most daily activities, primarily walking. Uh, even level ground walking, they have difficulty doing stairs, they have difficulty squatting and bending. Uh, many of them take medication daily for relief of their arthritis pain. Some patients also end up needing to use an assistive device such as a cane or a walker uh, to allow them to do their activities. To get Ron up on his feet again, Dr. Sharp recommended total knee replacement surgery at Shawnee Mission Medical Center. Patients typically come into my office often limping. Uh, they'll relate the inability to perform daily activities uh, because the discomfort is somewhat overwhelming. Uh, patients uh, tend to be sedentary, they can't do much. Um, after a joint replacement, uh, it's a new lease on life. Patients can, uh, they can perform normal activities. They can oftentimes even return to some light um, exercise activities. So for patients, the difference is, um, is remarkable. Using sophisticated surgical instruments, Dr. Sharp replaced Ron's arthritic knee with an artificial one. They leave you in bed the first day, and then the second day they come get you up. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't have any problem. I, I used my walker, used a cane, and uh, they, you know, they give you some steps to go up. I went up every one of them. And I, that part amazed me. Success for a patient after joint replacement really is, is, is to me essentially how the patient feels. Did this make their pain go away and have they been able to return to their normal lifestyle? I think the main measure of success in a knee replacement is, is pain relief for the patient. We also objectively uh, look at how patients' uh, range of motion is in their knee, how well they straighten and bend their knee. Uh, we like to see our patients off of their cane or walker. Uh, we like to see them obviously returning and resuming their normal activities. Today, Ron is able to walk without a cane or walker and has returned to teaching high school full time. The day that I was able to return to school, I'm not ashamed to tell you. Uh, I pulled into the parking lot. I got out of the car. I didn't have a uh, walker. I didn't have a cane. And I stood there for a moment and I thought, you know, three months ago, I thought this was never going to happen. And man, I cried all the way in. It was like a, a sunrise. It really was. I'm back. On October 14th at 7 p.m. Central Time, join Shawnee Mission Medical Center surgeons for a webcast demonstration of a total knee replacement live from Shawnee Mission Medical Center in Merriam, Kansas. OR Live makes it easy for you to learn more. Just click the Ask a Question button on your webcast screen and open the door to informed medical care.